Welcome to my daily practice at Wendy Code Art. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. Hi, my name is Wendy and I'm an artist. I've been an artist my whole life and I am excited to invite you into my studio and show you my art practice. I paint every day and I do um, acrylic on paper, uh, I also do stencils, I draw, I organize my studio space, I do a lot of things. Uh, for me, art is about problem solving, so there's always little tricks and tools that um, I can share with you along the way. So welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today I am in cleanup mode. So more than just cleanup, there's also um, I'm wrapping these, my hollow core doors in plastic. And that is because of the paint drips. I have them wrapped in paper. Now I'm putting a little thin plastic sheet over top so that um, things just don't stick together. It's as simple as that. So it's a bit of a process because I've got a lot of things on the go, but I'm just going to do it or die, I guess, or something. Um, and uh, I just thought I would invite you into my studio while I'm working. Um, it's a kind of a solitary, solo, silent process. And uh, if I have the inclination and the um, know-how, I'll, uh, I'll do a voiceover at some point. Um, to explain some of the process, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So uh, I have already begun. Well, first of all, I stapled my new um, panels, uh, the calendar sheets that I'm working with. Um, I stapled them to the far wall. Okay, so I wrapped uh, one layer of plastic around this door. Looking good, looking good. I have to tape the top and the bottom. Oh, this is where the tape makes that horrible noise. Yes, you're going to hear it. I don't know why they can't make a silent tape. Just silent. Okay, now And while I'm on this side, I'll just put a few staples in. That's it, except let me put a piece of tape on this side. Okay, it's a little heavy, so it tripped myself up on the plastic on the floor. Not good to keep plastic on the floor. I see this is already starting to get a little wonky here.
Well, this will make a big difference. Um, you know, it's always trying to dance around the, uh, well, the lack of sealant on these. Uh, and I still will, I, no, now I will not be. No dancing. No siree. All right. Is one. <laughs> these uh, these doors, they're so great, but they probably double their original volume in tape and staples and paper. But I love them. I really do. I suppose I could have cleaned them up a bit, but you know, I like that patina. So door number one, one out of four, nine. one out of nine, but it's a start. If I can get this down without injuring myself or anything else here. And uh, right away, I'm going to put some paper up. Walk that door back Easter Island style. I'm sorry that I just spent the morning stapling um, these maps down because I would do these too. I, well, I'll have to eventually anyway. It's not bad. I'm just checking for wrinkles. But, you know, the paper I use is thick enough. Okay, so one down and eight to go. This paper was good, but it's um, not going to be... Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to get two out of one of these rolls. Oh, well, that is very sweet. I didn't know that. Oh, no, that's a different roll. Well, anyway. The next one is this painting. And I did not take the staples out yet, so I'm going to do that. First I'll walk it over. Now I have some paintings that I've been working on uh, quite a while on this side, and I am Oh, eh. I was just going to say, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And then I looked at them and it was like, it was like those big puppy eyed, you know, images like, don't, don't leave me. Let me see. I mean, I really cannot think of much else to do, but if I'm going to take them down, I'm, I'm not actually um, convinced that they're going to uh, be resolved. You know, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of ironic that I finally, you know, decide to do the video and. Um, I um, I start on some paintings that you know I've been working on, and um, and I and I I'm having a hard time resolving the paintings. You know, I mean that that happens, but the first time 
you know, like right out, right out of the gate. So, uh, of course, ideally, it would just be like, ta-da, this is my studio and these are my paintings. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love, I love these paintings. I love these paintings. I love these paintings. I just love paintings. But uh, these guys gave me a hard time. Now, every day I try to do something different. And yesterday, let me just see if I can do one more thing here. Yesterday, I tried to, um, no, I didn't try to. I just took some paint and I did some, I did some nice drawing on top of the surface. I, I, why not? Why not give it a try? I'm looking for my nice soft pencil. I can, I'll pencil first. I'm just going to use this pencil. Pencil's a pencil. Oh, that works. And now, I'll probably stop. Hmm. I think that was not a bad idea. I'm just looking for oh, use a pencil sharpener. Oh, that's good. Not that these are very good pencil sharpeners. Why is that? You know, I borrowed somebody's pencil sharpener at. Uh, the uh, a, a, a drawing studio I was at Thursday, and it was just one of those little school pocket pencil sharpeners. You know the little metal ones. It was so good. It looks like a whale, and that looks like a duck. Well, we're doing Rorschach paintings now. These guys can't really get much more thrown at them. Um, I like them better. I really do. So, I have to remember to take, but you know, they're not, the pencil was not the, the thing. Let's see. I used this green, and it actually was the best use of this green that I've come up with for a while. So, let me try that again. Would you like to see? I'm going to move this camera. To turn and face. Well, turning and facing the fluorescent light fixture, that's a little alarming. There we go. All right. Oh, no. Darn. You know, it's so hard to know before you know. So, um, I'll just give it a try. something kind of groovy about some of these lines. <laughs> At first I didn't like them, but uh, I don't know what to say. To me, 
This seems to be it. Groovy paintings. Get my, my hair in a groove. Yeah, it's a bad hair day. But I'm in my studio and I wasn't expecting uh, anyone to drop by. So here we are. Huh. It's like a weird kind of screen in front, you know? Especially when I attach it to the edges. I don't know. I thought these were done, but it's so hard to. Huh. I mean, it really works. For, I think it works for me. So I'm just going to do these too. Just finish it. Come on. Is that a sign not to do that? Let me just double check and make sure I like how it looks. I already have some of this kind of marking on there. Yeah. I th actually, I think it was a sign. I don't, I don't mind what I put down there, but I don't feel like it needs. Okay, well, just a little bit. Let me get the bit like chocolate. Very hard to stop once you get started. Okay, well, that was a bit much. Well, I'll just cast a whole other color. There's a whole other color cast. Get some of that off. Oh, that's what happens. This is exactly what happens. You're going in a certain direction, and then you know you either you gotta you gotta turn on the brakes. You know what's so confounding is that I. I like it so much on these, but again, you know, I said I thought of these as finished, so there was really no need for me to go in. Well, not bad. Slightly green tinge. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay. 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 We're done. Whoa. Now this paper is the new paper. It's kind of nice because it is a little bit smaller. I'm not trying to um, to tear these into three sections just yet. I will I will leave them you know, in uh, one long section, and then I, I can always cut them uh, like I've done on the other side of these panels. And... Oh. One more long sheet of paper. Hmm. 
Oh, this is, this is two long sheets of paper. Wow, the last staple, I ran out. And there it goes. Now, just because it was so much fun, still looking for that other pencil, but I think I left it in the other room and I'm not going to leave everyone now to find it. I'm not even going to leave to find the, um, well, here, the pencil sharpener. I mean, in the old days, you just sharpen a pencil with your exacto knife which i'm doing now but I, I the lid is a little bit long it's probably going to break off oh my goodness look at this so i sharpened the pencil and then i pulled it a little bit that's a whole stick of lead hmm. interesting so pencil went from this to this so I got lots of pencil to work with. Wow, look at that. I'm so used to working in one, two, three that I did it here. I mean, I, I'm not doing pencil work right now. I'm just playing around. I'll paint over it. It'll get a little smudged. Um, you won't see much of it, maybe a line or two underneath everything else. But now, once again, I have to wait for the paint to dry, which I will do on, you know, the next time I'm in my studio, I'll take these off of the panels. and start to put the plastic on these. So thank you for joining me in my studio today. Um, I really appreciate you dropping by, and I will see you on the next tape. Have a good rest of your day. So I'm so happy that you are joining me today, and maybe other days too. I'll take you through my day-to-day -day as an artist. And I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next tape. Thanks for being here.